Dr. Mike Roussel, and in this installment of Ask Dr. Mike, I'm going to answer a hard gainer's question, wondering if he should eat 4,000 calories a day in order to gain some weight. So today's question comes from Michael from Facebook, and Michael asks, he says, if I'm trying to gain weight, I was going to start eating 4,000 calories per day. Should I do this for a month and really ramp up my training? So this is a great question, sort of a classic question for people who struggle to put on weight. They think that, well, I'm just going to start eating a ton of calories right away, and that's going to help solve the problem. So with muscle building and hypertrophy, there are really two parts to the coin. So one part is diet, but the other part is training. So one quick thing on training. So when it comes to training, training for hypertrophy is all about frequency. So frequency is really a key component when it comes to training for hypertrophy. So an example of this would be, it would be more beneficial for you to do three full body training sessions, three or four full body training sessions a week versus uh, body part splits, you know, where you train four or five days a week and are only uh, training a body part once a week. So even though you'll do less volume per body part in one session, it's better that the repetitive stimulus of that frequent training is really better for hypertrophy. So if you want the best, one of the best resources for hypertrophy training would be the Max Muscle Plan by Brad Schoenfeld. You can just go over to Amazon.com and pick it up. Uh, it's a great, it's probably the best book you'll find at really looking at the science behind hypertrophy and then putting that into practical application. Like a lot of hypertrophy information is more of just that gym science that gets handed down from you know uh, muscle head to muscle head. But Brad really does an excellent job. You know he's got to be one of the the world's foremost authorities on training for hypertrophy. And in the Max Muscle Plan, he does a great job of distilling all that information for you. So I would go uh, to Amazon.com pick up that book for the training side. So, in the nutrition side, back to the question, should you just start eating 4,000 calories a day? And really, the answer to that is no. Don't start eating 4,000 calories a day, okay? What you really want to do is take your current dietary intake and then just add six or 700 calories per day to it, okay? And now, you really need to be consistent about that. So, just take what you're currently doing and then add six or 700 calories. Now you can do this really easily by just adding a shake to whatever you're eating already. You know, add in some protein powder, some nuts and some berries. You can get up to six or 700 calories really easy. Okay, and then what you wanna do is take that, and then the next step is measure and test. So we're gonna put in the addition of this shake that's six or 700 calories, right? And then we're gonna measure and test how your body responds. So let's say maybe now you're only eating 2,500 calories or 2,700 calories, right? Let's say you're only eating 2,700 calories and then you add in 700 more calories. So you're at 3,400 calories. That's a, a pretty good jump in your calorie intake. If we jump too high, like I don't want you to just go up to 4,000 calories because 4,000 calories is kind of a random number. But if you jump up to 400 calories right away, you're going to increase the chance of the weight that you're going to be gaining is going to be more and more appreciably fat versus muscle. So hypertrophy is a slow process, so let's add some calories and then see how your body responds. Because hypertrophy is slow, the key is really to be consistent, and that's where measuring and testing comes into play. So take girth measurements, neck, chest, arms, waist, thighs, take all those measurements, right, and put this new 700 calorie shake into your meal plan for at least two weeks. Measure again how your body changes at the end of two weeks. Also, track your body weight every day so you can check, so you can monitor trends in changes in your body weight. Then at the end of two weeks, you'll see, have you gained weight? Have you not gained enough weight? And adjust from there. Maybe you will need more calories. But at least by adding six or 700 initially and not jumping all the way up to eating 4,000 calories, you're giving your body and your metabolism a chance to adapt and get used to that increase in calories. This is going to increase your likelihood of just putting on muscle and not as much fat. Okay, so if you want more information about this process, 
the addition of calories, measuring, testing, and tweaking, specifically for muscle building. I go into this in great detail in your Naked Nutrition Guide, which you can find at microcell.com. But Michael, I want you to put these things into play, six or, seven, six or 700 calorie shake, and then measure and test, and then see how your body responds and go from there. So that's going to wrap it up for this edition of Ask Dr. Mike, looking at what can we do to gain more weight. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below the video, and I'll make sure I read and answer every single one. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get instant updates whenever we add more Ask Dr. Mike videos or any other videos on the channel. All right, thanks a lot, guys, and have a great day.